given there is a giant ab machine in front of me, so I guess it's time to work out. I'm sitting here with Lane, the inventor of the product. Yes, yeah, The inventor of the product. So tell me a little bit about this, and then it looks like I'm going to start doing some exercising. Okay, well, I call this a selectorized abs. Okay. And uh, what sets it apart from all the other ab machines, there's, there's an awful lot of ab machines for home exercise, but what none of them have is uh, the, the ability to to have uh, 20 levels of resistance, right. starting it very easy for a beginner, and and then you have the resistance that can go all the way to very challenging for, say, a fitness model type body, someone that's been working out for 10 years straight. Right, right. So what makes this one unique? How is this different relative to a lot of the other ab machines well, that are out there? The, uh, the progressive resistance is, a, is it's not just one of the basic principles of exercise, but it's actually the first principle of exercise because your body, let's talk about abs for a second. All right, because I your, should need Okay, to your learn. abs, if you start on a new ab machine, mm -hmm. in three weeks' time, your abs will, will uh, they call it adaptation. They'll adapt to the resistance level and then your body does not improve anymore. Okay. And so the, the human body, the muscles do not respond to hard work, they respond to new challenges. Okay. And so what you do at the end of three weeks is you increase the resistance, an incremental increase, say 5%. Uh-huh. And then that resets the adaptation process again for another another um, cycle of, of So it's like you're training, you're building them up then That's right. to, okay. And you got to show me, right? Yes. You got to get on here and show me what we're doing because, um, so you created this and you put this together so that it is specific to this particular training regimen. That's right. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, so your sits here and your okay. back gets aligned right on the joint. Okay. And you lay back like this, and there's your motion. And you're doing abdominal crunches. And then you emphasize as you go back, that's called the, the uh, eccentric motion, and you emphasize that and make your abs hold you up as you go back. And that's a that's the part that gets you the most results as far as developing. I know. It looks. I'm sweating looking at you. <laughs> it looks hard. Yes, like that. And that's how the machine. So, is. and you're already starting that way, inverted, so that it's giving you that additional leverage. Yes. Yeah. You've got the increased range of motion because of the arch and the angle here, mm -hmm. and that gives you the the option rather than laying on a flat floor. And then. Like I was saying, the adjustability on the resistance is right here. So for the beginner, you simply, this is called a selectorized pin. Okay. And you see that in the health clubs where you use a selectorized right, pin to change the resistance. Right, you can pull it out and change the weight. Because it's so easy and convenient uh -huh. and quick, mm -hmm. okay? Now every other ab machine, let me just grab this. Okay. Every other ab machine for home either uses this, mm -hmm. which is heavy and cumbersome and expensive, mm -hmm. and so that's not good, and it's also a liability issue. It can be dangerous, or they use this. Have you seen this? No, what's this? That's a rubber band that they'll use. That goes in between, and the two things and go here. And it stretches. <clears throat> and these, after, after 50 to 100 pulls, they lose their tension. And, and then after several hundred pulls, they'll, they're in danger of breaking, then you've got to replace them. So this isn't right. a great option either. This is the only machine that doesn't use weights or rubber bands. It only uses your own weight. And right, your has, body weight. And Which, do you see that in the, in the fitness industry? I see that trending to be in a lot of the things, whether it's the arms, the backs, you're using your own body weight. Yes. Yeah, because it's a natural, it's a, it kind of uh, feels very natural mm -hmm. to have that. And that has to be better for your joints and better for, obviously, your overall body if you're using your own strength. And then I'll tell you something about this selectorized pin. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, in 1957, the health club industry was a very small niche industry. Mm -hmm. And the health club industry at that time, they invented selectorized resistance where you could move the resistance with a pin. Right. Before that, it was all load weights and that kind of thing. Right. Well, when that was introduced, the historians of the exercise industry say that that, that uh, catapulted into massive growth throughout the industry because right. women are more comfortable and men with this kind of change in resistance versus yeah. having to change out weight. Well, absolutely. And then, of course, it builds gradually. It empowers you to be able to change resistance just with a simple, somewhat thoughtless action where you yeah. don't have to give it, you know, you don't have to say, well, I right. got 10 pounds on it, now I'll move it to 12, and then I'll move it to 50. No, you just move it from lot, slot one to slot two to slot three. To slot <clears throat> so four. it looks a little 
big, am I able to compact it at all if I want to store it or put it away? I invented this mm -hmm. uh, two months ago. And this really? is a prototype. Well, yes. good for you. I and think I, it's incredible. Thank you. And I've got a new patent on it. But uh, this is a prototype. Okay. It will definitely, when we engineer it and take it to market, it will definitely right. fold and slide under a bed. Right. So in the meantime, you've been walking around Las Vegas with this giant thing. That's right. <laughs> We've been laughing because I was <laughs> just talking to Johnny Mathis, our CEO, and he was uh -huh. saying how, you know, there's people walking around with a trash can, and there's yeah. a guy walking around with a huge kangaroo, so everyone's been carrying their props. That's right. Now, what kind of feedback have you been getting, obviously, from the ERA and from the convention this week on the products? You know what? I've had a great response. I've, I've interacted with uh, some of the key players that uh, you see on even some of these new reality shows. Uh huh. Sure. I've interacted with some people from uh, the Shark Tank. Yep. And I've had multiple meetings with them, as well as people with the Discovery Channel show, The Pitchman. Sure. And so it's just been. Uh, Did a you great get Sully show. on this thing? I hope. What's that? Did you make Sully go on this thing? I haven't had Sully on it yet, and I got to get him on there. He's a fit guy, right? Yeah, I, I know he does a lot of those triathlons and tries to stay in shape. So hey. So anyone can use this, men, women, anyone, no matter what your physical fitness level, yes. this is good for all. Yes. Grab that sheet of paper over there, if you can reach that. Yep. Okay, this is me. I and lost 80 pounds. And there's your before Really? Before and after. 80 pounds. Isn't that great? Congratulations. Wow, what a success. You know what there's I, nothing better than coming from a personal success story. You know what I found out is people don't buy ad machines from guys with bellies. <laughs> Isn't that weird? You'd think they would, but they don't. Well, honestly, in this industry, it's true. You know, yeah. you want to buy something, you're not going to buy something for a hair care product with someone that probably has bad hair. So, right. this is a so great... So, I went from a 40-inch waist to a 33, and I, I lost <gasps> 80 pounds. How long did it take you? It's been, the last five months has been most of it. I lost some before then. I lost about 15 pounds before then, and then the last five what? months I've lost. Why? What inspired you to do it? This. I knew that I was going to be doing something with... I've, I've been chasing the idea of an ab invention for mm -hmm. a long time. I had low back problems mm -hmm. about 10 years ago, and that inspired me. The core of your body is so complex mm -hmm. and challenging to keep it in, in yeah. great condition. Well, this is great. I oh, am thanks. I'm inspired listening to you, and I've been saying all week, I'm like, ah, oh, we need to get some gym products in here so I can go.